Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how easy to create a VPN connection from Checkpoint Gateway to AWS Transit Gateway. I'm going to demonstrate a feature that is called Seamless VPN, which has already been introduced in R8120 management, but only in R82 is also support Transit Gateway for the Seamless VPN feature. I want to clarify the seamless VPN feature, auto VPN configuration feature, is a management feature and does not depend on the gateway version. So for this lab, I have uh, prepared in advance a VPC spoke one. Inside the VPC, I have two internal subnet in two different availability zones and two attachment subnet that are dedicated for the TGW attachment. On the bottom of the diagram, I have a checkpoint R82 gateway that is managed by R82 checkpoint management server. I will start by connecting to the checkpoint gateway over SSH and configure a BGP AS and a router ID. Now I will switch to the AWS console and create a transit gateway. I will create a VPC attachment for spoke one. I will connect the transit gateway to the two dedicated uh, attachment subnets. Now we'll create the second attachment, which is going to be the VPN attachment. As part of the creation of the VPN attachment, I will also create the VPN connection. The next step will be to create the transit gateway route tables. There are a few options for managing the route tables on the transit gateway. I prefer to separate the spokes VPC route table from the VPN route table. It will give me more flexibility in the future. I will create uh, two route tables. I will start with the spokes route table. I will associate the spoke route table with spoke one attachment. Second route table will be the office VPN route table. I will associate the VPN attachment with this route table. Let's move forward and configure the routing. I will start with the spoke route table. On this route table, I will want to learn automatically the routes that will be advertised over BGP from the office gateway to the VPN attachment. On the office VPN route table, I will want to learn the routes from the attachment that are connected to the spoke route table. Those routes are going to be advertised over BGP to the office gateway. We can check the route table on the Office VPN route table. We can see that the route has been propagated and it will now know how to reach the spoke VPC through the spoke one attachment. If we will check the route on the spoke route table, we will not see any route since the VPN tunnel is not up and the BGP has not been established yet. So we didn't learn any routes. The last step on AWS, will be to create a route for the internal subnet on spoke one VPC to be able to reach the local office subnet. The next op for this route will be the transit gateway. Now I'm ready to move forward and configure the checkpoint side. I will start by adding an AWS data center object, which is basically a connector to your AWS tenant. 
that will allow the management to fetch data from your AWS tenant. Once we have the data center object, I will import the transit gateway into the management. Now, I will move forward and create a new mesh community in legacy mode. I will add the transit gateway and the office gateway to the community. The management will fetch automatically the transit gateway VPN tunneling configuration and BGP peers configuration. On policy push, beside the policy, also the VTI interface and the BGP will be configured on the gateway side. Now let's see if I can ping from the host behind the office gateway to the host behind the transit gateway. I don't get the ping response. I will check the transit gateway spoke route table to see if I got the BGP advertisement and I don't see any route. I will check on the checkpoint side if I see an established BGP peers. I see the two BGP peers have been established. I will check the route table on the gateway and I see route to spoke one CIDR that has been learned via BGP. So the only thing that is missing is the advertisement of the routes from the gateway to the transit gateway. You can do it with BGP route map or directly from the cliche with route redistribute command. Once the route has been advertised via BGP to the TGW, I will see a new route in the TGW spoke route table. Now he knows how to reach the office LAN subnet. As soon as the TGW go the route, I will start get a ping response from the office host. If you have any questions, please comment on the post. Thank you.